Hey, and welcome back to HMRK. And uh, we had a night off today. Decided not to uh, do the vlog. for just sit down, feeling mentally drained, to be honest with you, with work and stuff and all the rubbish that's been going on with coronavirus and the rest of it. And, you know, you think that you can't feel any worse than what you felt on uh, Sunday after the North London derby, where we just didn't show up. No character, no desire, you know. You, you, you know, us Spurs fans, we, uh, you know, if, if I could have played in that North London derby, I would have sweated blood. But you, you could see that the players just weren't up for it. And you think, you know, 2-0 up. Surely you ain't going to go and balls that up. And guess what? I've just watched us lose 3-0. And I'm thinking to myself, how has that happened? And I've got to be honest with you, I think Glenn Hoddle nailed it. The, the start of the game, there was two ways of thinking. Go and score a third goal, an away goal, and put the bet, the tie to bed, or try to uh, not concede a goal. And it looks like that's how the team was set up. They were set up to actually just defend and look after and manage a 2-0 first leg lead. And, well, it doesn't take Einstein to work out that we can't defend we never been able to defend. This is Spurs. And we all know that tag Spursy. And the reason that that tag Spursy is there, uh, you know, we can contrive to somehow balls up winning a game. I mean, 3 0 up against Man United. First half, lost 5 3. 3 0 up, three -nil up at half time to Manchester City. And they had a player sent off. And they come back and won 4 3. So this isn't the first time this has happened to us, uh, us as a football club. But someone's got to take some responsibility here. And for me, that responsibility lies squarely on Jose. And we can sit here uh, until the cows come home and say, yep, but, you know, he put out a good side. But there's no point in putting, they put out a good side against Arsenal. But there's no point in putting out a good side if you're going to tell that side to play and defend and park the bus because basically that's what we do we park the bus not only one maybe two or three and then expect to create one or two opportunities in a game and try to take them opportunities i mean really we didn't create anything today anything apart from the last 10 minutes it's the only time we woke up and you maybe we might have scored a goal and squeezed through but come on hand on heart spurs fans did we really deserve to get through that today? Because for me, I mean, that's as bad as a, a defeat as I've experienced as, as a Spurs fan. And trust me, I've experienced a few bad few bad defeats. And I'm sure everyone has experienced a few bad defeats. That Their ranks is one of the highest on my books. I mean, just no desire, ineptitude, just going through the motions. I mean, I can't even excuse the players for being tired. That just looks like... He ain't even tried. I mean, if I if I put that kind of performance in at work, I'm sure I'd be fired. You know, not just as the manager, but as a player. I mean, it's it's a whole team, of course. So you know, I know as much as I'm not happy with Jose, the team has to take some responsibility. You know, these guys are professional. They should have some professional pride. I mean, you guys, they these players get paid a lot of money to do something that I. And I'm sure a lot of you watching would do for nothing. So when you've got that and you've got these players who on thousands of pounds a week just put in a performance like that, it does irk you. And I'm so happy at the moment, to be honest with you, in this current stage where you know a lot of people are feeling low and down and not in the right state of mind that I'm glad I'm not going to watch this. I'm glad that we're not allowed to go and watch this because I just think that it would make me feel even lower than I feel today. I mean, I just, I can't even sum that up. I mean, it was pathetic. It, we have got some really poor players. Aurier, oh my God. The, the, the less I say about Aurier, the better. Sanchez today, I mean, he made some, oh, so yeah, I mean, you know, Gundogan put him on the floor. I still don't think he's recovered from that. You know, from, from you know, from from that from that fall that he had. I mean, he was terrible today. Dyer, 
I mean, how does he not cut that ball out? I mean, he kind of stabs the pot out to it and pulls it back. What is he thinking about? I mean, you know, Sissoko, he's an absolute tripe of a football player. And I don't want to just, you know, pick, you know, you know, I'm sure, you know, a couple of years ago, Sissoko was doing all right, but he's not what we need. I mean, yes, we improved a little bit when Jose made some changes, but one would say, why didn't he play? This competition meant everything, to be honest with you. We're not going to finish in the top four. Why didn't he play the strongest side he possibly could? Why didn't he play Tangy from the start? Do you know, why didn't he play Lo Celso from the start? Why didn't he play Bale from the start? Play the players from the start. Go out, score the one goal. That's all we needed, one goal. We needed one goal. Had we scored that one goal... The game and tie would have been over. But no, Jose decided that he wanted to go and try to. I, I believe that in my heart of hearts that Jose just didn't want to concede a goal. So the negative attitude was there. But something tells me there's not there's something not quite right there. And normally you don't sack you know, 30 or 40 players. For me, Jose should do the right thing there and resign and leave. Because I think that he we, we're going to lose the Carling Cup or the Carabao Cup final, sorry. I don't even say Carling Cup because it's not been called that for since the last time we won it, actually. He needs to go. He needs to call it a day. Daniel Levy needs to realise he's made a mistake. We need to get someone back. We need to get someone fresh, someone young, someone who plays a brand of football that associates us with our football club, a, a, a progressive type of football, a, a fast flying football, a one-touch type of football, a football that it gets you off the edge of your seat, not a negative type and brand of football that I'm watching. And that is an absolute terrible, terrible result. And I feel for all Spurs fans today, I really do. I mean, we are, you know, we just feeling a bit low today. Um, but, you know, chin up, guys. Um, let's see what happens. We've got Aston Villa on the weekend. I don't even feel like I could get myself up for that game at the moment. But, yeah, again, we're a laughing stock. Again, you know, that spurs tag will be chucked at us. But what can we do? We are Spurs, hey? So um, catch you on the next one. Come on, you Spurs.